I am happy to report that the Fourth Assembly has made significant strides in the legislative uh, process. As part of the transitional process to the ESC Monetary Union and ultimately a single currency for the community, the Fourth Assembly has passed two important pieces of legislation. And I'm also happy to report that one of it was assented to by uh, the ESC Heads of State. That is the East African Monetary Institute Bill 2018. As you may be aware that um, the protocol for the establishment of the East African Monetary Union was signed and the, the Assembly uh, was requested to particularly pass legislation to support the implementation of that protocol. And that's what we have done and we are looking forward to uh, the members of Parliament from Uganda to look at those uh, pieces of legislation to ratify and so forth. So we want the whole of these East African countries and they have already committed themselves to, to introduce a single currency, such that we trade freely by using one currency. And to, to East Africa, this is not strange. It happened before. There was the East African shilling, and we were working very well. So, just like the EU with the Euro, that's where we, we want to go. The opportunities are there, out there. You are born in Uganda, but you can work in Tanzania, you can work in Kenya, so it's a question of rolling out and opening up our mindset that instead of going, I, I always say, instead of aspiring to go to Jordan, go to Arab Emirates, go to those far, far away, there are so many opportunities within the East African community. If peace and, and, and security is guaranteed, the opportunities are much more when you are in a community where you can talk more or less a similar language. The architecture of global governance has changed. So for small states, small countries like ours, the best option is actually to come together and integrate. And deepening and widening and strengthening of this integration is the only insurance we have against the powerful forces of globalization.